I absolutely love it when a plan comes together. I have sent in five orders to CGC over the last month or so, and little by little, all of those orders are making their way back to me. Just last week, I did an unboxing of some really awesome books, and now today, I'm going to do another. These books are all high grade. Stay tuned. Reggie here, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are gonna take a look at some awesome comics that have shown up here from CGC, and every single one of these books is high grade. Most of them will actually be sold on my website, reggiecollects.com, at GarageCon on November 11th, or on WhatNot at a later date. So definitely stay tuned for those opportunities. Some of these books may actually stay in the collection. We'll see what happens with that. But I will tell you the books that I am selling right now on the website are all potentially going to go to me adding an awesome comic to the wall behind me. There is an, an X-Men book that I do not have that I've wanted for quite some time. And the price on this book is really appealing right now. So fingers crossed that I can move some inventory so that I can actually pick up that book and update this wall behind me. Uh, with, with that said, I do not know why I'm still holding this because I've already cut open this box, but let's go ahead and take a look what has shown up here at the house. Uh, pull the bubble wrap out of there because we don't need that. We are starting off with a bang. We, we are starting off with a bang. Uh, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one from 1989. Uh, this is a 9.6 with white pages, a nice looking copy of this comic. So definitely a cool book. I think there's a couple of these in here that were sent in. Uh, the, oh, that would have, it would have been nice to have this one at a 9.8. Um, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one from 1988. Uh, 9.6 white pages right there. A very cool book. Again, wish that I could have gotten this one at a 9.8, uh, but clearly we did not get we did not get that bounce. But a cool book, nevertheless, at a 9.6. We don't need that. <laughs> this is a cool book this is a book that was almost sold on uh on whatnot and i decided to go ahead and and send it in and uh sure enough it came back at a decent grade this is power girl issue number 27 um this is a cool cover came back 9.6 little power girl action right there there was a stain on the cover of this one and some some rub uh, that clearly still could not come off. I was keeping my fingers crossed that they were going to be able to get that off, but uh, apparently not, uh, but that did not hold the book back from getting a high grade. 9.6 white pages, Power Girl issue number 27. Oh, this is cool. This is cool right here. A lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the 100K collection. I think every single one of these books came out of the 100K collection. For those that do not know, I did not pay $100,000 for that collection. It is comprised of more than 100,000 comics. That's why I refer to it that way. Uh, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number five. This is the wraparound cover. Came back at a 9.6 with white pages. This one is from 1985. Uh, definitely a very cool piece of turtle history right here. Awesome, awesome cover. I wish that I'd been able to find some first printing of turtles in the collection. Issue number one, first printing. No, no such luck. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. The back fell off. That's cool. So we did get one 9.8. There you go. 9.8 and a 9.6. That is very cool. Uh, this is, the, I think, the second run, right? This one is was in 1989. 9.8 white pages. That That is very cool. That is a very cool book. Again, all of these are all high-grade books, um, all 9.6s, 9.8s. Speaking of 9.6s, there you go. There's the other copy. I think there were three, clearly, three copies of that uh, that were sent in. This one came back 9.6. And a lot of turtles, as you can also tell. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Turtles, number five, 9.8. That's cool. 
I do not think that there are a ton of these on the census at a 9.8. Um, I want to say less than 400. Less than 400. And I've got two of them. How cool is that? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number five, wraparound covers, two 9.8s with white pages. That is very cool. Uh, and the last book in here is a 9.6 of the same right there. So uh, still have three orders out with CGC uh, that I'll be hopefully doing unboxings of in the weeks ahead. I also just realized that some other things I wanted to show you are across the room. So be right back. All right, so here we, here we go. Uh, the folks over at Skybound hooked me up with a massive stack of comics, and I'm actually going to be giving a lot of these books away during tomorrow's live stream. So I do a live stream on Wednesday. We're going to be giving these things away, uh, maybe doing some trivia or something like that as part of the show. I'm randomly just going to be giving people uh, stacks of awesome comics simply for showing up and being able to answer trivia questions. Uh, but in this stack, as it, I try to prevent it from sliding all over, in this stack are some really awesome books. We have Transformers number one right there. Here is uh, another Transformers number one. The Optimus Prime cover right there. Very cool. The uh, Decepticon cover right there. I cannot remember. Um, this might be the 1 in 10, 1 in 50. I honestly can't remember. Here is the foil cover. Uh, speaking of, of Transformers and the Energon universe, Void Rivals, another really good read. There's a couple of uh, versions of cover 4 in here, or issue 4, I should say. Several versions of that. Uh, Antarctica, number 3. I have not read issue 2 or 1, so I do need to catch up on this. I've read, I'm um, sorry, uh, two or three. I have read one, um, but I need to catch up because I enjoyed this. I'm actually going to set that to the side so that I remember to read that. Some more Void Rivals, some more Transformers. Oh, wow. It's a Void Rivals with uh, <laughs> a Transformer on it. That's cool. I, I missed that one when I was going through here. Some more Void Rivals, issue number three, issue number two, the blank sketch for Transformers issue number one. We've got some Creep Show in here, some Walking Dead books. And again, I'm going to be giving away a lot of these during tomorrow's live stream. I'll probably just package them up and uh, just slap labels on them as people win them. But uh, Skybound hooks me up every single month with some really awesome comics. And I try to pass as many of these back to the community as I can. So, if you had not planned on watching tomorrow's show, I definitely want to encourage you to do so. The show takes place here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is called Comics Today. So we're going to clearly be giving away some books, but we're also going to be talking about some news and current events. And generally, we also have a very good time. So make sure you tune in for that. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. And if you want to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. This thing on. Mic check. I just want to make sure y'all can hear me clearly. Yo. Should you practice art or should art be your practice? I had a question so I asked it. Not to anyone specifically but to my inner God you know. The one that's gonna be a master, the one that's more than a rapper, the one that's an educator, the one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts, he's got the mindset expansive. He understands that it's time combined with travel and concepts, makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan, straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we're in distinct rooms of pure souls, having them conversations, synergy and combination.